Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Kathleen Hemrick and I feel like I have been away for weeks, but I have been super, super busy. But this video is really exciting for me to make. The title says it all. I am four months sober. I was actually four months sober Wednesday, June 1st. So today is Monday, June 6th. So I'm more than four months sober. I wanted to tell you how I'm feeling. I would say the first and second month, I was still really feeling that sense of, oh, it would be good to have a drink because when I don't feel well, when I don't sleep well, I really want that alcohol. It actually calms down my nervous system. But around that third month mark, I started to realize how much I didn't really need the alcohol. I will say this. I got on the medication Prozac, the generic is fluoxetine, and it has helped my sleep so much. Like I would have intermittent bad sleep at least three or four times a week, and it would totally affect my mood, raise my depression, raise my anxiety. I would say since I've been on it um, almost five weeks, um, in the past month I may have had one bad sleep and it wasn't even as bad as my bad sleeps are. So that is number one that I see improving. I think some of it is the Prozac, but also it helps in not drinking, right? Because remember, if you drink and you take medication, it dilutes the efficacy of the medication, at the very least. It could also be extremely dangerous. Also, I noticed that my emotional regulation is much more balanced. I still feel um, some anger or fear or anxiety for sure because there are a lot of changes going on that I will tell you about next week um, but that's more inward outwardly I, I feel like I'm able to just chill and even if people are kind of like I'm just gonna say it kind of bitchy towards me or defensive or angry not even at me but just spouting out this negative energy instead of kind of reacting to it like out of fear and fighting back or running, I just kind of sit and I listen, right? Not just for my clients, my clients is not a problem, but I'm talking about my personal life, okay? Um, I also feel like my relationships are more honest in a sense of I'm much more clear so that I, and not kind of as up and down and going back and forth and being like, oh yeah, I'll do that. And then, then saying, no, I can't do it, I'm too tired. So I've learned to be more direct and kind about it, respectful. Um, and I really, I really appreciate that about myself because growing up I was a people pleaser and I probably have been a people pleaser probably well into my early 50s. Yeah, kind of crazy, but not because that was my role growing up. I also, um, surprise, surprise, maybe not surprise, um, not that I was looking for it, but I lost about three pounds. So I don't know. I mean, I was a vodka lemonade or vodka cranberry girl, and I don't feel like I overate, but maybe my body's just catching up on that sleep, maybe not having that um, sugar from the alcohol go up and down. Maybe it, apparently it's helped me. Um, also, I still have a lot of anxiety at times, especially the past couple of weeks, which I'll tell you about next week, but it's not a crippling anxiety. It's not something that keeps me up at night. It's more of a um, natural worry. I call it more worry than anxiety. So those are really the main points that I feel. And I will say I noticed um, a big difference between this month, June, my fourth month of sobriety, and definitely my first month of sobriety. Oh, one more thing I wanted to add to, to this is, I've actually had two dreams where I'm just drinking a little bit, just a little bit, and I'm out. Okay, so my first dream, I was out, and I was like, I'm just gonna have a little bit. It's not like I'm drinking at home. Nobody's gonna know, like nobody needs to know, okay? So I think that dream was about like wanting to escape again and then hiding it from people, which is of course totally against sobriety, right? You need to be transparent, you can't be sneaking in a little bit of stuff. The other dream 
I think I was looking for alcohol and I couldn't find it. This is the dream after. So I think that's kind of symbolic of still having the desire, but on some level not really wanting to drink. I couldn't find it right so your dreams are really important they're your subconscious and they can tell you a lot all right um thanks for listening as always thanks for subscribing if you had thanks for hitting the like button i hope that my videos help you a lot of them are personal some of them are more about what i have experienced with my clients but most of all it's just about sharing and being a person, I hope, in this world where I can spread some light, some joy, some understanding, um, and be supportive to others if, if what I say helps you. Thank you so much. And again, if you want to comment, please comment below. Namaste.